What's up, fellow toy nerds? Welcome to Hard Reset Toys and Games. Today, I wanted to share with you guys an updated room tour video of my new space. I just got all this stuff out of the storage, out of the boxes, on the walls and shelves. And I just wanted to do a quick video of what I've been up to since my last room tour video, which I did in my old apartment. So I want to go ahead and get started with the turtle wall behind me and I'll pan around the room and show you guys what I got going on here. Okay, we'll start with the foot soldier and work our way across the top. Raphael, Leonardo, Sergeant Bananas. Man, there really is something to say about the first run of these guys. I mean, the card art, I love it. Everything about it, the brick wall, them exploding out of the uh, brick wall. And then they'll be in the center of the card with three animations for the character. It's amazing. Probably my favorite cover art for any toy line ever is Ninja Turtles. The vintage Ninja Turtles. I wish uh, there's certain characters I wish had the brick wall background like Half Court or Sandstorm. How dope would they be with this uh, brick wall background and like three animations of them on the card. Space Cadet Raph, Muckman, Ace Dog, Heavy Metal Raph, Genghis Frog. A lot of these are not in any particular order. When I pulled them out of storage, I just kind of threw them on the wall as I opened the boxes. Rare Dude, Casey Jones, King Lionheart, Krang, General Trag, Punker Don, Walkabout. Fifth anniversary April, Space Usagi, Storch and Leonardo, Ray Filet, Razor, Make My Day Leo, Storch Shell Dawn, Skateboarder Mike with the red M. Then what Dolby Rocksteady, that's uh, Mutant Military Line 2. I'm working on those as well as the Shoguns. All right, we'll start at the top and work our way down with the blimp, hiding behind a Road Ready Splinter and Shredder. Party Wagon, Tortoise Ninja, Auto Mutations Bebop, Knucklehead, and a pretty mincy flush o -matic. This dope ass Ninja Turtle sign, I believe I got off of Etsy. Half Court, Sandstorm, some movie one and two cards. I got a few packs each. Got this watch I got from a toy show recently for 10 bucks. Some Hardhead 88 Turtles on a turtle cycle. Collector's Turtle. An empty can of Retro Mutagen Ooze. And a Tiger Electronics Dimension X Assault. Got a few scratches, but it's been pretty well kept. Here are some of my loose fakes. Some of them are complete. Some of them are mostly complete. Some of them I have no accessories at all. Work in progress. I've been trying to up my game on the loose figures the best I can. Some more down here. Some graded stuff here. Hot head and metal head. And a party wagon with some more turtles. Oh, yeah. Here's another wall with a few more cards. Next Mutations. That's the only one I got. It's probably the only one I'm going to get for that line. Got some Talking Turtles. Wacky Action. I got all nine Wacky Action cards. Some Source Spitting. I think I need one more to complete those. 
Headspin and Bebop, Rock and Roll Michelangelo, Head Drop in Michelangelo, Machine Gun and Rocksteady, Batman Mouser, Techno Drum Scout, couple foot soldiers hanging out in front of the Techno Drum, complete, pretty decent shape, minus some very minor wear, a few scratches, but nothing I can't overlook. One of my favorite vehicles here, the Mutant Module, near complete, I'm missing a couple little things. I need some more of these purple pegs here. Three. Yeah, I need quite a bit. Pain in the ass to find sometimes. I've gotten three so far. Some of my box vehicles, sludge mobile, cycle cycle, hero turtles toilet taxi, sort of party tube, foot ski, a Toxic Crusaders Turf Surfer, sealed in the box. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. I recently had gotten this down in South Florida. Retro Catapult. And the Sore Army Tube. Got some of my Toxic Crusaders here. I got all nine figures that they put out. Toxie, No Zone. I got Junkyard here, but he's on a Toxy card, as you can see. Major Disaster. Psycho. They're all in pretty good condition. Um, Dr. Killamoff, though, I had to do a little surgery on him. The bubble was actually detached when it came in the mail. So I taped him up. I lined it up the best I could. But really, you can't tell. Unless I told you. Headbanger. Got all nine of those bad boys. And Bonehead down here. Can't forget Bonehead. We got the Super 7 Toxic Crusaders. Got all six that they've put out so far. I think they're pretty cool. Here I got my vintage Resident Evil figures. Got all 12 of those. Jill Valentine. Honk. William Birkin. This one here is my favorite. Ada Wong. Claire Redfield. Leon Kennedy. Super dope line. I love them. Most of them are in okay condition. Some of them are a little beat up, but I'm not really a stickler for that. There's some Ghostbusters. The Screaming Heroes up there. These are all reissues except for that one. That one is actually vintage. Castle Grey Skull. These are the uh, Origins figures. I've been working on those. Got a handful of them, but I got space for a few more on the shelf. My Bioshock figures. I love these guys. Got a few big daddies and little sister, big sister, splicer. Some vintage Power Ranger villains. 
vintage handheld. I know they're putting out uh, reissues of this. My only pop, it's a Dishonored 2 pop. Gremlins, some mini turtles here, Hot Wheels wagon. I mean, these things are really tiny. I'm missing one Ghostbuster. I believe that Django figure is one of 999. Figure my buddy gave me recently. Stone protectors. Some 12 to 13 inch Power Rangers here. I believe these are recent, like a year or two, two years, three years ago, they put these out. So yeah, that's my bookcase of my modern and vintage loose figures. Here's some prints from conventions that I've worked. Collective Con, I try to work it every year. The Crow, Randalorian. I love the fact that they wrote This Is Away. It's so cool. Flash Gordon. Yeah, I try to work, it's called Collective Con. I work it every year and it's always a good time. Some display boxes from GameStop, a couple game prints. Turtles movie prints. Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 games, PlayStation 3 games, Urkel. Gotta glue his glasses back to his forehead to keep popping off. Couple Super Nintendo and Sega games. This is a statue that came with Bioshock 1. A couple PS1 games. Nintendo with some loose cartridges and a few box games. PS Vita with some Switch games in the background and PS Vita games in the background. That's an empty box there. That's the one I'm currently using, but this one is sealed here. Blue Switch, probably gonna give it to my daughter when she gets just a little bit older. She's one and a half, so I'm pretty sure she'll just destroy it if I give it to her now. Dreamcast. Yeah, I'm slowly picking up games here and there. I'm in a rush, like, this uh, shelf's slowly filling out. And I'm good with that. Got like a 13 inch Dick Tracy here. It's sealed. There was a window on it, but it was so yellow and brittle. I just took it off. I could barely see through it. Some books, strategy guides for some games. Some Carter Bow shot figures. And some flip head Power Rangers. This one's signed by the Green Ranger. It's hard to tell if you look real close. Jason Frank. And these Flash Gordon figures. I thought the card art on there was super cool. I picked these up recently. Alright guys, that'll do it for this quick video. Until next time, stay righteous and keep collecting.